Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel. And in today's new video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a brand new home screen and lock screen setup. It's gonna be very minimal. And yes, I know I always show you these minimal creations, but it's great because you can take some of those minimal widgets and the wallpapers and apply them to your own unique creations. So without any further ado, let us begin. Great everyone, so like I said, today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to set up an incredible minimal Android home screen as well as lock screen. Here it is, it is titled City Lights by the author Kodenka or Sebastian Spindler, however you wanna call this guy, but he has done a fantastic job at providing your Android home screen with a fantastic minimal home screen setup as well as lock screen. Now here is the home screen right here. As you can see, it just screams minimalism and it looks incredible at the same time. You can of course see why he calls it city lights because you have this fantastic cityscape behind you there at night, it looks amazing. And of course, you've got this whole clean setup here, only set apart by these few very thin icons here, as well as his own custom made widget that you can see here. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look like there's a lot going on, but there actually really is. Now, if I select this little clock right here and I select it there, it brings up your music information if it's playing. If not, you can just select the play button and it'll then start playing whatever music you have currently on your phone, which I think is incredible. So it does have quite a bit of functionality while at the same time giving you very clean, minimal setup. So that is the home screen. You can see you've got your taskbar or your notification bar there at the top, as well as your very clean soft keys at the bottom. But let's jump into that lock screen. I'm gonna lock the screen right now and then unlock the phone and here it is. It's also very minimal very clean you've got another beautiful looking city landscape or cityscape here at the background and of course you've got your info there you've got your time very easy to read you've got your battery you've got your date it all looks incredible and let's not forget this unlock bar here that when you swipe it across unlocks your phone just like that so if you'd like to know how to set up this very home screen tutorial as well as lock screen tutorial then let us begin with today's new video Before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be requiring in order to set up this very home screen as well as lock screen. First off will be a good old file explorer such as ES File Explorer. Always recommend this one and it's honestly one of the best file explorers pretty much because it's free and very easy to use. Next up will be Media Utilities and you will require that in order to get your music to be displaying. Next up will be a good launcher. I will be using Nova Launcher for this very setup just because it makes my life easier. Next will be Widget Locker. That is the app that you'll be requiring to set up your lock screen. Pretty much can't go around that as it's probably one of the best lock screen apps that are currently available. Next up will be Zuper Widget and you need the pro version for this. This is to set up those widgets and of course you need the pro version simply to copy the custom templates or the custom skins that Kodenka has set up. And last but not least, it is own, it's Sebastian Spindler's or Kodenka's very own app that he has created titled Zuper Widget Utilities. It's available free from the Google Play Store and that allows you to switch this Zuper Widget, this one right here, it enables you to do this pretty much with ease. There's no pop-up widget or anything. It's just all Zuper widgets. So definitely wanna go check out this app. Check in the link below for a complete guide on how to use it. But these are all the apps that you'll be requiring. So once you have all of these installed onto your phone, then let's jump in with step two, which will be copying all your necessary files into their various locations. Great, so step two will be copying your files into their specific locations. So all you have to do is open up your file explorer, whatever it may be, and to find the necessary files that you've copied onto your phone. Check in the link in the description below, it comes with a zip file that you can either download onto your computer, extract and then paste onto your phone, or then just download straight onto your phone, extract it, and you'll have all the files there on your phone. So there it is, it is the City Lights folder. Here's all the different files that you'll be requiring. First up will be your Zupa widget files. Now you just have to long press on each one of them, copy them like this, and you wanna select copy. As we're now gonna copy them, if we go back into the main SD card directory, and we scroll a bit down, um, if you're not too sure how I'm using my mouse, check in the link below. I made a complete how-to guide on how to use your mouse on your phone like this, so just take note of that. So I'm just gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom here, 
go into Zupa widget. I wanna go into my templates folder within the Zupa widget folder. And you just need to paste it here. As you can see, they are pasted the home screen Zupa widget and the lock screen Zupa widget files. And of course, you know that they're Zupa widget files because they end in .zw. So just take note of that. The next thing that you want to do is to copy the, uh, the widget locker, the custom slider into its respective folder. Now, what you can actually do here, I've downloaded it. There's a simple widget locker. If you open this right up, it contains the two widget locker themes. Don't think that that original file, that's, that's not the theme. It's the two ones inside here. So what you want to do is to extract these two. So I'll just click cancel right here, click extract. You want to say, choose your own path. You want to select this area here as you want to extract it into a specific location. That location is within your SD card directory. You want to open up the data folder. You want to look for the com.testacoilsw.widgetlocker folder. And you want to look for the themes folder within that. You just need to paste both of these in here. We'll extract them into this, this specific location. And then, so if you do it like that, you select OK. It'll then overwrite all of them or just paste them in like that. And there you have them. So that's pretty much, they just need to be in that folder and then they should hopefully appear once you've installed them on widget blocker when you're doing that setup. But that is all your background setup done, files done. Next, we can move on to media utilities. Great, so step three, setting up media utilities. It's extremely easy to do. You just need to open it up. Once it's installed, you wanna select this overflow icon here on the top right hand side, and you wanna select the settings option right here. You wanna scroll all the way down, and under application integrations, you wanna make sure that all of these apps have been enabled. Doesn't even matter, just in case you one day happen to have a Pebble watch, then it'll start displaying your music. So it's pretty cool. Just make sure that all of those are enabled as well as all of these here at the bottom, all of these experimental features, as they all seem to work out pretty well as well. So that is your media utilities setup complete. Next up, we'll be setting up your Nova Launcher settings. Great, so step four will be setting up Nova Launcher. Extremely easy to do. You just wanna go into your desktop right now. Your desktop grid, a nine by six was recommended as well as subgrid positioning just to make your life a whole lot easier just in case you wanna get some icons in between the actual grids lines themselves. Your margins, you wanna be on none. Home screens, you only need one home screen for this very setup. So you just need to leave the rest of the scrolling out of the way. You want to be able to resize all widgets. Your widgets overlap. You do want to enable and overlap when in place when placing. Not always. I guess you can call that recommended as you might do it for a later date. Next up, uh, select look and feel. We want to scroll a bit more down now. You want to make sure that your notification bar is enabled, but your transparent notification bar, you also want that to be enabled just so it gives a whole nicer looking effect to everything. So that's that pretty much done. You might say, well, hey, Marco, why does your whole setup look very different. That is because my phone's rooted and that is because I am using the Sign Engine mod or the CM11 theme titled Shift UI. I did do a review on it. It was featured in one of my top 10 CM11 theme videos. Um, if you just go into your themes right now, you go into your theme packs. It is this one here titled Shift UI Blue by Screenlicious. So you just need to apply that onto your phone and it pretty much changes the soft keys as well as changes your notification bar there. So. Great, next up is the home screen. Now, if you have anything that's currently on your home screen, you just want to long press on it or hold down on it and drag it into the X at the top like this. So, so there it is. You have a completely blank home screen setup like this. Now, first up, what you want to do is to change your wallpaper. So you simply have to long press on the home screen, select wallpapers right now, and then go into wherever you have saved it. So I can't use the gallery for this, but I'm just gonna simply use the ES File Explorer. And then I'm simply gonna go into the folder where I've saved it all into my City Lights folder. Here it is, I think it's this one here, the first one. And then there it is. You just can change this cropping icon here at the bottom. Select Portrait, it just makes resizing a little bit easier, especially if you just simply have one screen. So put it wherever you want. I'm just gonna, I think that's where he likes it. And you select OK gonna set the wallpaper for you and you should give it a few seconds and it should be set up looking all hunky-dory so taking a little bit of time and there it is there is pretty much your home screen done we just need to add in our widgets and our icons
Great, so next up, I'm actually gonna start with adding in the icons simply because then you can just make the widget as an overlay. So I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna long press on the home screen now and select my Nova actions. Let's start off with the app draw, as I think that's probably one of the most important. So you just have to long press on it, put it more or less in this position right here. You wanna just long press on it once again, select edit, select the icon right now. This brings it up into your gallery and now you can choose the glyph icons. Now I'm gonna go into my ES File Explorer once again. There is the glyph icons that I've now copied into this folder. And you simply need to look for the icon, well, whichever one that you prefer to look like your app draw. Great, so I selected this one right here and it might be a bit teeny tiny. So a little quick tip for you guys, if you select the crop icon here and you select free, it pretty much makes it a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna select okay select OK again and as you can see it's not really teeny tiny so if it is a little too small for you it was a little too small for me that seemed to make my life a whole lot easier so all you want to do now is to add in the three icons here it can be your phone your messaging as well as your email and then once you're done you want to change all of the icons exactly the same way as you've just done to this app draw Cool, so there's my last phone icon right there. I'm just gonna select OK. You can obviously test that it all works just like that. So once that's done, all we have to do now is to add in the widget at the very bottom. So to add in the Zupa widget, extremely easy to do. You simply have to long press on the home screen, select widgets right now, and you wanna scroll all the way to the very bottom like this. You wanna select Zupa widget pro, does not matter what size you go for as you're just gonna be holding down and resizing it anyway. So make sure that it pretty much takes up the bottom. It doesn't really matter as you're gonna resize it anyway once it's been added in. So I'm gonna select the app right, or the widget right now. I'm gonna select the SD card this time, remember because we have pasted it into that specific location. And we're gonna wanna look for the one here titled uh, City Lights underscore home screen because obviously it is for your home screen. You wanna select back right now don't have to do any configuration for the Zupa widget utilities, that is all done. But make sure that your media utilities has been set up in order for it to display correctly. So I'm just gonna resize this a bit so all of these icons rest beneath it. And all I have to do now is to long press on it and then say send to back just so I can get my icons in the front. You can now test that if it works or not by selecting this little play button right here. And as you can see, now it displays your time, your weather and your date which is pretty neat. You can just test it again to see if your music works by selecting this play icon right here. And there my music starts playing pretty, pretty awesome. So that is the home screen setup complete. Now let's move on to that lock screen. Alrighty, so the last part you have to do now is to set up your lock screen. So we do that by opening up widget locker. If you have any widgets or apps or shortcuts on your lock screen, you just wanna drag them into the bin or you can simply just long press on them and select remove, whatever's easier for you. Next up, we wanna select your little settings icon here on the top right hand side. You wanna make sure that widget locker is on as we're now gonna jump into our look and feel. From here, you wanna make sure that alternative wallpaper is enabled, this one right here, make sure that it's enabled as now we wanna select our own wallpaper and you can choose it from your various gallery apps. So now you simply have to resize it to make it touch the top and the bottom of the screen. And now you can just place it wherever you want. So I think that looks good. I'm gonna select OK right now. It's gonna set my wallpaper background tint. So it's a good idea to make it a little bit tinted just so that your widgets stick out a bit more. It's easier to read. If you scroll a bit more down, you wanna make sure that the hide notification bar has been enabled so that you don't have to see that at the top. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna select back right now. I'm gonna go back into my look and feel, almost forgot, is to go into your layout of your look and feel as you wanna change your grid. If your anchor is sitting in the middle, you wanna drag that completely to the bottom. Make sure that automatically you determine grid size is off and you wanna make sure that it is a 12 by 12. You wanna select save right now. You can now go back finally and you just wanna go into your advanced settings here. As a lot of people say that once you tap your middle button right there, that brings up your, just unlocks your phone. So it's not always a good thing. So you wanna go into your home helper and make sure that all of these have been enabled. It's gonna ask for a pop-up. You just make sure that widget locker has been enabled for always. So that's it for here. So home helper uh, components, the block home, and then block home in other apps. Make sure that all of those three are enabled. And of course, make sure that widget overlap is also enabled. 
as yeah, it just makes your life a whole lot easier. That is your background widget locker settings complete. All we left to do now is to add in the slider as well as the widgets. Great, so I'm gonna start by adding in the Zupa widget. I'm gonna long press on the lock screen, select widgets right now. And right now I'm just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and look for the Zupa widget. Doesn't matter what size you go for, as you're gonna long press on it like this and you're gonna select resize, make sure that it takes up pretty much the whole screen. You can always adjust it afterwards. But let's just see how this size goes more or less. I'm gonna select it right now, go into your SD card, you know the deal. You're gonna scroll to the bottom. You wanna look for the city lights lock screen. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's just see, go back now, wait for it to load up. It is a bit small, so if I long press on it, select resize. And I'm just gonna resize it, see if I move it up a little bit, it gets a lot bigger and that looks a lot better on your lock screen. Just one quick note, one quick tip. If you're resizing it and it doesn't get any bigger, it just happens to me right now, you wanna select it, you wanna select the open file right here, go back into your SD card and then just reload it. For some reason, I'm not sure if it's a bug, there, as you can see, it should make your widget a whole lot bigger. Sometimes it's a bug with, with Zupa, it just won't resize it at all. So just keep that in mind. And all we have to do now is to add in your custom slider. Great, so last but not least, you wanna just long press on your lock screen. You wanna select custom slider right now. You wanna change your theme. You wanna scroll to the one here titled simple underscore W. I'm guessing it's simple white. So make sure that it is that. If it doesn't appear, remember to double check the way that you copied it into that folder. Remember to first extract the file and then copy those two widget locker themes into that folder and it should be good to go. I just need to select done. I'm just gonna select resize now and just get it to be underneath this one right here. I'm just gonna resize the widget once again. I'm gonna long press on this one and say send to back because this one I don't need to be interacting with. But what I do want to do is to select this one, long press on it, say block clicks, just so that if I long press on it or tap on it, it's not gonna bring up my Zupa widget configuration. I'm just gonna send that to the back and make sure that this one now I can move freely like that. As you can see, it's got that neat little arrow like that. So now I can just test that it works. Slide across, unlock your phone, just like that. Let's just test it once again. Just gonna lock my screen for reals this time. And unlock it, see how it is. Here it is, a brilliant minimal lock screen. I can just swipe across, unlock your phone to a very, very minimal home screen as well that you've got everything that you need right here. So that is it and that is this video complete. So thanks very much guys for watching this video. If you have any questions relating to this video or anything else related to this channel, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll really respond as quick as I can because I really enjoy doing this stuff for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up as well as please subscribe. This is My Color Screen channel. It will truly mean a lot to us. Other than that, don't forget to check out My Color Screen's official one-click theming launcher titled Thema, available free from the Google Play Store. And one last thing, it's Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. And as always, don't stop customizing.